Hi, I'm Natalia. In this video, I'm going to explain the purpose of gas nominations and show you how they're used in the hydrocarbon accounting system. The concept of a gas nomination is very simple. It is a way for the supplier and receiver of gas to agree in advance how much gas will be transported, processed or sold. One party makes a nomination and subject to a set of rules, the other party accepts it. The nomination is then the agreed quantity of gas to be delivered. In this example, there are a number of offshore fields exporting gas to a pipeline. The gas is transported to an onshore terminal, where it's being processed and sold at the redelivery point to industrial buyers. The regime here is seller's nominations, which means that the owners of the producing fields nominate the daily quantity of sales gas at the redelivery point. When the terminal operator accepts a nomination, they're committed to ensuring that the quantity of gas can be transported processed and delivered. The rules specify limits on the quantity of gas that can be nominated. For example, there may be a capacity above which the delivery is not guaranteed. There are also timeliness rules which specify a minimum notice period for making a new or updated nomination. Let's take a look at what a typical nomination looks like and how it's handled in a hydrocarbon accounting system. The system shown here is access gas for terminal operator. This screen shows a list of the nominations for a particular day, in this case the 18th of June. The nominations are transmitted as XML, using a standard format. If we open one, we can see it contains details including a reference to the contract, the date and time the nomination applies to, and the required quantity given in energy units. When a new nomination is received, the system processes it and applies the nomination rules. This log shows the results of that processing, which includes a nomination profile, which is a set of values giving the rate for each hour in the day, divided into categories – firm, reasonable endeavors, and remaining excess gas. During the day, the system captures the actual quantity of sales gas that float through the redelivery point, which will never be exactly the same as the total quantity nominated. The system runs an attribution process, which resolves the difference by allocating the actual quantity between the fields according to their nomination profiles using another set of rules. Axis Gas Console summarizes all this information for the current day. It shows the nomination profile, the gas delivered and attributed so far, and the difference. Let's see what happens when a new nomination is received partway through the day. Currently, the rate at which sales gas is being delivered from the terminal is slightly higher than the total nomination. If we submit an increased nomination for one of the fields, the total nomination rate will go up. So now the nominated rate is slightly higher than the actual delivered rate. When the attribution process runs at the end of the day, it will apportion the differences between the fields. There are many different nomination regimes in use for different types of gas production and transport operations. What we have looked at in this video is a typical setup, and I hope it has given you a useful overview. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.